Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about our new impression plates here at Paper Tray Ink. They're made out of solid 100% American made steel, really great quality, and they're designed to impress patterns into your cardstock, kind of like letterpress. I'm going to show you how to do simple single sheet impressing with the impression plates. For the cuddle bug, you're going to want to start with the A plate, followed by a B plate, and you want to put your impression plate pattern side up for the pattern that you wish to use. This is our new picnic plaid. It's got two different types of plaid on it. I'm going to be using this one that's at a diagonal. Then I'm going to take my card stock that I've already trimmed to size for my card cover and center it right on the impression plate like so. Followed by our vanilla mat which is cut to the exact size of the plate and then the tan mat right on top of that. Followed by a second B plate. You then want to just roll it through the machine like so. When you're done, you end up with this impressed pattern on the cardstock. For the big shot, I'm going to use the multi purpose platform. No tabs. Insert it here, like so. Cutting plate. The impression plate, impression side up that you wish to put onto your cardstock. Cardstock cut to the size you would like. Followed by the vanilla mat. And then tan mat. One more cutting plate to create my sandwich. And then just roll it on through. Voila. Now I'm going to customize some ribbon so I can start assembling my card. I've got our Fresh Snow Grow Grain Ribbon and I'm using the Sweet Blush Copic Trio, the lightest of which is R30. I'm going to use the broad point and I've got a ruler laid down right, uh, right down the center of this strip of ribbon and I'm just going to draw a line right down the middle. You want to go steadily and you don't want to stop in any one place because it will make the stripe thicker at that one portion. Then I go, go in with the medium sweet blush shade which is R83 and I'm going to use the brush tip and I'm going to create just a thin stripe on either side of the one we just created. Here for the second one. And there's your finished ribbon. Now I'm going to show you how I like to adhere strips of ribbon to my cards. Um, I've got the card front that we impressed with the Picnic Plaid impression plate. And I'm running a piece of half inch score tape across the front and around a little bit to the back. I'm then going to remove the paper backing and adhere the ribbon just like so. And then I can fold the ends of the ribbon cleanly around at the back and the extra score tape is already there to hold it in place. Now I'm going to be using Don McVeigh's new Delightful Dahlia set to create some embellishments for my card. This set has coordinating dies for the large flowers and leaves and I just wanted to show you how easy it is to line these um, particular flowers up with die cuts. Um, I've got my flower here inked up with Sweet Blush and if you notice on this die there's like a notch um, out of the side right here. And if you match up that notch with the notch in the flower, it gives you a good reference point to use when lining these up.
and just stamp downward. Perfect every time. Now I use the smallest leaf die from the Dahlia set um, to cut out some um, leaves using the polka dot pretty pastels paper pad. I cut out three of them and I wanted to show you something I like to do with leaves to add a little bit of texture to my projects. I take my thumbnail towards the bottom of the leaf and I pull upwards and it's kind of like curling ribbon. Since I'm applying the pressure and stretching the paper out it curls the tip of the leaf up like so. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive just on the bottom portion of the die cut leaf. As you can see here I've already added two leaves underneath the edge of the flower and I'm just going to add my third one right there. I'm now going to create a little frame uh, for my project. I die cut uh, the fillable frames number one die and now I'm going to go in with the matching stamp, polka dot frame stamp and I'm stamping it with spring moss ink like so. I'm now using a big scrolly mother stamp from our mother stamp set inked with melonberry ink stamped on the frame. And now I'm going to add the word thank you in smoky shadow. The thank you is also from the mother stamp set. I put the foam dimensionals on the back of this frame and I'm going to hear it in place and I want you to note that these three lines coming out from the end of the word mother should line up very nicely with the lines in the ribbon. Just like that. And after you've adhered that card front to a white card base, you have your finished card.